Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. Over the past few weeks, we have been hearing about several instances of food processing plant workers across the country contracting COVID-19. There was a Cargill meat packing plant in Alberta, which was traced back to about 1,500 cases of the virus in the community, with over 900 of them being plant workers. There were more cases in Ontario and Quebec. Several Shady Camp residents brought their concerns to government officials about the possibility of an outbreak at a local seafood processing plant. They wrote letters and made phone calls. Now, both the crab and the lobster fishing season have opened, and the plant is functioning with about 120 employees. We caught up with a community member who was outspoken about the issue early on to see if her concerns were met. Valerie LeBlanc says she still has an answer questions. We have several interviews lined up later in the segment, including one with the Provincial Minister of Fisheries, Keith Caldwell, another with Inverness MLA, Alan McMaster, and a comment from Dr. Strang, the Nova Scotia Chief Medical Officer of Health. We start with our conversation with Valerie LeBlanc. Since the plant right now is closed, uh, it's really off limits to anybody in the community if you are not involved with the fisheries. Uh, one of our, my main concern is uh, whether or not the rules that were set by the province and the minister, uh, I believe uh, Dr. Robert Strang, the chief medical officer for the province, I'm wondering if uh, they are following the rules of safety because we have been told that all of this is very much safety driven. The federal government recently offered a $62.5 million uh, financial aid package to seafood processors. So it would be the plant here in Shetty Camp uh, to uh, make sure that, that the workers will be safer. Um, do you think that would help? Uh, depending on how the money is going to be allocated, Yes, I think if the government was going to give them $62.5 million and say that we're putting this in the plants and this is to be used to make sure that uh, the safety measures are all in, uh, in line and everything, certainly I think it would help. It would, I think it would ease a lot of malaise that's going on in the community because people are wondering, you know, are we safe? Are we not? Are the people? And I, I don't think it's just the community people, as myself, that are concerned. But you also have to be concerned for the fishermen. You have to be concerned for the the people that are working in the plants. You know, COVID nineteen, if it arrives in the neighborhood, it's just not going to attack a certain individuals. We will all be at risk. The provincial MLA for Inverness, Alan McMaster, says he also raised questions about worker safety. The only information I've gotten out of the provincial government uh, was when I had a chance to speak with Dr. Strang in a conference call, uh, and that was a, about a week ago, and I had asked him if he was satisfied with safety um, in, in the fish process, in the fish harvesting and processing uh, areas, and he said that he was. He said that he had worked with uh, the Provincial Department of Fisheries and the Provincial Department of Environment on plans that would be implemented uh, in places like Shattacamp, uh, where seafood is brought ashore and processed. So he said he was comfortable uh, with, uh, with the plans put in place. They're not plans that I've had the benefit of seeing. Uh, I presume that people in the Departments of Fisheries and Environment communicated uh, what they wanted to see happen. Uh, to people who own fish processing facilities. And uh, I can only assume that they're following those plans. Um, are there inspections being taking place? Um, that's not something I'd be made aware of. Um, it's possible that they could happen on a uh, surprise basis, uh, but I'm not aware and, and nor would, would they ever make me aware before they would go down to do an inspection. The Nova Scotia Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Keith Caldwell, says he's confident about the measures the province has put in place. There's a whole series of protocols we put in place by the Department of Health regarding uh, physical distancing, of course, uh, wash stations, hand wash stations, uh, changes production lines, many, many things are put in place. And also a connection with training with uh, 
with the use of personal protection equipment and the new work processes, all those things are in place. My understanding, talking to the industry, they've been, they struggled a little bit to start, but now they're really getting to, to a great, uh, great situation. And the last thing any of our fish plants want to have happen is someone come down with the virus that could affect anyone else in their facility and at the end have to shut the facility down. Are the plants being inspected specifically for COVID-19 measures? I'm not, I don't do the inspection. That's a question I'd have to ask the Department of Environment. Uh, they actually do the inspections. Would you know if the, the results of the inspections, would you know if that information could be made to the public? I, I would think so. I don't know. I don't know how the Department of Environment works on those things. They, uh, they would do the inspections and enforce them, and if they're not done properly, they would uh, not follow the work order or the orders of the Department of Health and or, and or the federal government. If they operate under both the fish plants, they would, uh, they would be charged if, uh, if that was deemed necessary. But I don't think that has been a problem. I have not heard of any, uh, any problems in that regard. They, Fish plants have been uh, really uh, incredibly cooperative. Uh, they really want to do the best for their for their staff, and it's one of those times that uh, we have conceived uh, really received no complaints from people that are uh, involved in this that are that would be a, a problem as far as we can see at this point. But again, it's environment that does the inspections, and any complaint would come in, they would investigate. Regarding the Federal Canadian Seafood Stabilization Fund of $62.5 million, how is the provincial government involved in that program? Well, we're still evaluating the program now. Uh, we're very excited about it and very pleased with it. It's, uh, it's, it'll help some of our fish plants to get up, uh, from what I understand, with some extra freezing capacity and some other capacity. They may have to hold product longer because of lack of markets, which is very, very positive. Uh, as we are known around the world for high quality products, uh, seafood products, and Nova Scotia is a number one exporter of seafood products in Canada by far. And if we can we can hold some high quality products in a freezer condition, uh, they stay in really good condition. So that's one thing we've been short of freezer capacity and a lot of other issues. And we're still working through with the federal government through the details on a lot of that yet. Will the province be involved in monitoring how the money is being spent? Yes, we'll be uh, we'll be working with the federal government. Uh, I believe it's all going to go through a COA, and uh, we'll be working with them closely. The Ministry of Environment referred us to the Department of Labor, which is responsible for workers' safety inspections. We received the following statement from them. The Nova Scotia Department of Labor and Advanced Education inspects workplaces in the province for compliance to occupational health and safety. Inspections of workplaces can occur for a variety of reasons and may occur at any time, either announced or unannounced. We are planning to visit seafood processing facilities in the near future. The provincial COVID website provides current and credible information, including the order issued by the Chief Medical Officer of Health and self-assessment tools for workplaces. All employers are responsible for ensuring the health and safety of their employees at all times and to also be following the Medical Officer of Health's orders. We spoke with the manager of the local plant, Pierre Leblanc, over the phone to ask him what measures are being put in place to keep workers safe. He said that workers get their temperature measured every morning, that plexiglass has been installed between stations, that the plant is clean throughout the day, and that another lunchroom and another washroom have been built for people to spread out. We reached out to workers, but we couldn't get through. Dr. Robert Strang said that food processing plants are treated like any other business when it comes to inspections. We know we have uh, uh, you know work with our with our, the whole fish, fishery sector, the fishing industry. Um, they have an ongoing process, uh, like any uh, business, where their the labor and advanced education, their occupational health and safety division, who, who's responsible for OHS standards, for labor standards, uh, they would come uh, under the same uh, kind of requirements uh, that any business that continues continues to operate uh, that, that they would have had before COVID-19. Uh, and certainly, but lots of conversation with, uh, with uh, my colleagues in the, in, in, at the Occupational Health and Safety Division, and they're well aware of, of their specific requirements related to COVID-19 that, uh, that, that have, have always, you know, that have been in place for businesses who have been able to remain open. The specific concerns about that, that plant, and then uh, you don't have to, and then people are concerned about specific circumstances. Uh, 
they could bring those forward to uh, to uh, to uh, the Occupational Health and Safety Division, whose job it is to uh, monitor that. I will say that uh, in, in general, in the Shetikamp area, there's been a substantive amount of attention paid to uh, with uh, with uh, fishers from coming from other uh, maritime provinces. I've been uh, heavily involved in in, in putting appropriate r uh, rules in place for those to operate safely. Uh, the uh, and and the uh, uh, officials from uh, both the Department of Environment uh, and Fisheries working with local uh, local law enforcement to do uh, both checks ahead of time and ongoing monitoring in general for the, the fishing industry with a specific focus on uh, on the Shetty Camp area. You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.